You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Coffee with Radi. It's now 2020 and we're in a new year. And I was, I was a little bit uneasy about you know, making a New Year's resolution or doing anything celebratory for the new year. I do the same thing that I do every year on New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve, if you know me, you know, I'm going to be in church. I will bring in the New Year's in, in church if if I'm in a place where I can get to, to church. There's, I think there was one time when I wasn't in, in a place where I can get to a church and I still brought the New Year's in on my knees, praying, etc., but I mean that, that's just what I do personally. But this year is a little bit challenged. I, um, you know, I've been through a lot of stuff this past year. Those of you all who've been listening to my my podcast, who will follow me online or on Twitter or on certain places, portions of my life are like an open book. And the one portion is um, many of you know I went to, through a divorce. I was married for 17 years. Uh, and I was engaged for five and dated for three known the person um, more than half of my life and going through the the process of, of separation and divorce was really um renting on on my soul and my person and my belief system and i had to I had to do a lot of a lot of thinking it was very a very pensive time for me I had to do a lot of therapy a lot of introspection a lot of self-accounting thinking about what I needed to what I needed to change the things I needed to keep um, I had to do a, had to do a self-assessment because there's certain things about yourself that man you, you think are okay that somebody else doesn't think is okay and that doesn't have a that doesn't provide a reason for people to leave or people to stay but it does pro- provide some undergearing for the personal changes that that you can make if you would like to make if you want to move forward and progress as a human being. The, the thing about the new year is I had to really sit down and understand that a year is actually the the chronological span of the Tra- traveling of the earth around the sun so when you really look at it the year is a it's just a cycle it's a cycle that the earth has made one full rotation around the sun and when that cycle is complete a new cycle begins so I had to get out of my mind the thought of making a new year's resolution and ask myself what was going to be my New Year's revolution. Because I've been through a cycle. And a new cycle is beginning. And I had to ask myself what, what do I want to do? Or what, what, what do I want to accomplish? Or what changes do I need to make in this new cycle? What things do I need to address in this new cycle? What things do I want to make in this new cycle? How many people do I want to help in this new cycle? How much can I give in this new cycle? And in this in this new cycle, I have to understand that I don't just revolve as the earth revolves, but I have to evolve too. So there's a there's a personal res- resolution that you need to make. You need to get resolved to do some do some things. And then there's a revolution that that, that needs to occur in your life. And then for that revolution to occur, you personally have to go through a personal evolution. So what I would highly encourage you to do today is understand that in 2019, a cycle was was ended. And in 2020, a new cycle is going to begin. And you don't want to bring the same cyclical behaviors that produce some of the poor outcomes that you had in 2019 into 2020. There are cyclical behaviors that are going to yield a different and more positive result for you in 2020. Those are the ones that you want to find out 
what you need to evolve into in order to propagate what you need to be resolved to doing in terms of making a resolution and how you need to be to create a, a total revolution in your life and I'm, I'm telling you i'm saying this because there are some people listening to this right now who are in a place where they feel like they're stuck i mean they, they feel like they're financially stuck they're emotionally stuck they feel like they are personally stuck. They feel like they're, they're stuck in relationships. They feel like they're stuck in terms of their education. They feel like I can't really go back to school. I'm too old. I got too many bills. I got like they feel stuck. And what has you stuck is what we call the war. You're in a war right now. And the war that you're in right now is what we call the war of words. In a war of words, when you get in a bad situation or something bad happens to you, and you get on Instagram or Facebook or you tweet or you text your 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 friend or you, or you text the universe. When you when you're on Twitter, you're texting the universe, and you put FML, which means F my life, instead of BML, which means bless my life. If you wake up in the morning and you say, "Oh man, this I." I I H A T E Mondays. I don't even use the H word. Instead of saying, "Man, I love Monday. It's a great opportunity for me to get started and do something new." If you're not getting up and blessing the day, then you're actually getting up and sometimes cursing the day. Like you have, there's a war of words that you're going through. Like the reason why you think you're stuck is because you keep saying that you're stuck. You have to get around different people. Your relationships have to evolve. You have to speak differently into your life. You have to say different things out of your mouth. You're going through a war of words. If there's, if there's anything I can encourage you to do in 2020, is make sure that you take control of your mouth gate and you speak over your life. You speak over your life. Speak over your life more just positively over and over and over again and get to the point where man, you, you, you stop declaring what you feel and you start declaring what he said. Everybody's not going to get that. But you got to stop declaring what you feel and you got to start declaring what he said. And once you do that, you will find yourself breaking breaking some yokes and bringing some cycles that were created in 2019 that you that you brought into 2020 unknowingly you have the opportunity to break those cycles you can break them immediately immediately by the way you think and that what you say don't say you're too old to go back to school you're not too old to go back to school. Get yourself out of that, that that rut. You don't necessarily have to go back to school, but you're not too old in order to en, 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 enhance or advance your education. And there are other things you can do. There's certificates that you can get. There's other things that you can do. There's other forms of education that you can get. There's other things that you can do. There's mentorship programs you can go in. There's other things that you can do. There's other things that can, that can, can help your growth. And not put you in debt. And if you remove the word debt and you say, I need to make an investment in myself because the best person for me to, 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 to gamble on is me. Then it's no longer a, a gamble and it's no longer debt. It's just an investment. Invest in yourself. Speak over your life. Stop declaring what you feel and start declaring what he said. Understand that you are in a, a war of words. Understanding that a year is a complete cycle of which the earth is traveling around the sun and you are celebrating a new cycle. A new cycle and you're breaking some of the old cyclical behaviors and implementing some new ones that will yield some new results. This is Dr. Rodney Ferguson. I can't tell you how much I love you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, but I will try. I love you so much that I don't see it as a sacrifice when I get on the microphone and I share the things that have been shared or given with me. 
I love you to the point where I believe that you could do more than you thought you could do. I love you to the point where I'm willing to pull time away from my day in order to invest in you because I believe that the more that I give, the more that he gives to me. I love you so much that I believe that you can do remarkable things. I believe that you have some some, some latent capabilities, some latent ideas, latent books that are just inside in your mind, locked away in your heart, that with the right words at the right time can be unlocked and turn you into the superstar that you are. I love you more than you know, and I don't even know you, but I don't have to know you in order to love you because I love, I love someone that I can't see and I can't see you either. And I love you too. This is Dr. Ferguson. Take care and have a super fantastic day. And remember, I love you, but God loves you best. Also, please visit www.coffeewithradee and get my book, Coffee with Radee, today. It's also available on Amazon and Audible as an audiobook. Take care.